Hi, my name is Seem, and today I'm showing you how to make and customize your own crossword puzzle. We're going to take a look at the basics and premium features. If you're looking for something specific, you can check the timestamps in the video description down below. And don't forget to make a puzzle.org account and click on my account to go to your dashboard, so you can follow along with me. First, click on the drop down menu under create new puzzle and select crossword puzzle. Then hit the start button. This will bring us to the start menu where we can fill in the answers and descriptions of our puzzle. It's a good idea to prepare a theme or subject for your puzzle. For instance, I will make a puzzle where you have to guess an animal based on the description. Let's fill in the answer and in my case it's a rhino. The player solving the puzzle has to guess the answer based on the description, so I'll give the hint this herbivorous creature is best known for its huge horn. When we fill in our second answer, you'll notice that the live preview is showing our puzzle in the making. This way you can see your puzzle coming to life. After you've filled out all four answers and descriptions, you still might want to add more answers to your puzzle. This is done by clicking the Add Question button at the bottom of your webpage. You can add as many answers as you like, so go nuts! Remember to always check the spelling of your answers so that the puzzle is fun to solve for your players. Now that we've created the answers and descriptions, we can modify our puzzle. You can see a menu with icons in the upper right corner of the live preview window. Click on the first icon, the eye icon, to toggle the view. Now we see the answers needed to solve the puzzle. Click again and the answers disappear. The two arrows icon will let you change the layout of the puzzle. So click a couple of times until you find a layout that you're happy with. The orange floppy disk icon will turn green when we click on it and it will save the puzzle to your dashboard. This way you can close your puzzle and edit it at a later time. You can always monitor if the changes you made are saved by checking if the save icon is green or orange. And last but not least we have the play button, which will not surprise you lets you play your puzzle. It will open a new tab and preview the puzzle with its name and the options to print, save and share the puzzle. This preview shows us that our puzzle doesn't have a name yet, so let's change that. I'll close the preview tab so we can see our start screen again. Now click on settings in the menu bar. Here we can fill in a name for our puzzle. I will call our puzzle find the hidden animals. If we save our puzzle and preview it, we now see our puzzle name on the page. You can also add a hidden solution to your puzzle, like you would see in a paper for a contest. Note that the word must contain the same letters as your answers. For instance, I can't put the word kingdom as a solution because none of my answers contain the letters G or M. So instead, I will put world as the hidden solution. Now we can choose to shuffle the letters of the solution. If we choose to do so, the letters obtained in the puzzle will show up in a random order and the player will have to put them in the right order. You can add this for players who like a challenge. Now that our puzzle is looking great and is ready to be solved, we can publish it. Go to publish in the menu bar. Here you have the option to share your puzzle via a link, Facebook, Twitter or Google Classroom. You can also print your puzzle by clicking the print icon. And if you want to get rid of your puzzle, there's also a delete puzzle option as well. Being a puzzle.org premium member has its benefits. For instance, you get your own tab in the menu. Click on premium in the menu bar to show all the different customization options. You can make your puzzle private by clicking private in this drop down menu. Curious to see what percentage of players finish the puzzle? Enable the keep track of stats option. A button with view stats appears. By clicking on it, you get information about the number of players, number of correct answers and which specific answers were answered correctly. This way, you get insight in which questions were easy or hard for your players. You can even export these statistics as an Excel sheet. 
You can also disable the option for players to see if their answers are correct. And we have the option to add special characters and answers for languages like Spanish or French. Instead of giving text-based descriptions, what about making a puzzle with pictures? Change the type of crossword to image. Now, if we go back to start in the menu tab, you'll see that we are now able to add images as a description. I have changed all the text of my descriptions to pictures of animals, and now my puzzle is suitable for a younger audience. Awesome! If we go back to premium in the menu bar, we can also see a play in teams option. Enabling this will allow you to put players in teams and let them race against the clock to see who can finish the puzzle the fastest. By clicking open control room, you have full access to make the teams as you wish offline or randomize them online. Lastly, we can take a look at making our puzzle look the best. With premium, you get the option to change the color scheme of the puzzle and its text, the size of the puzzle, the text font, and we can even hide the black background and add images. We can also customize the message that pops up when our players have finished the puzzle. Add even more flair with a fun sound and confetti. You can even ask for their contact info. As a premium member, you also get extra publishing options. Let's go to publish in the menu tab. Under premium, we can see that we now have the option to add the puzzle to our website, export it as an image, and we can even export leads. This means we get an Excel sheet with an overview containing contact information from every player that filled in their info after finishing the puzzle. This concludes our puzzle.org crosswords lesson. I hope you enjoy making lots of puzzles and if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Thank you for watching and happy puzzling!